Hello and welcome to another Excel tutorial. Today I would like to show you how to import stock market information into Excel. Especially Mac users will recognize that this has been a particularly difficult task in the past as the Excel versions on Mac have been quite limited compared to the Excel versions on Windows. So on Windows, for example, you had the possibility for, I think, quite a few years now to go into the data tab and then press stock market um, data like the tab here and then get the information right into your Excel. However, this has not been quite the case for Mac until now. So a couple of weeks ago, there has been a new um, Mac update been rolled out, which kind of um, brought the, the Mac version of Excel on quite a similar level. And I would like to show you today how to um, use the new feature to your advantage. So let's go into an kind of empty template and then um, select some stocks that we like to import information of. So in this case, let's just use Apple, Tesla and Procter and Gamble. And as I already said, it is very easy to import um, the information. You just have to click on the name of the stock. You can also type in ticker symbols, whatever you want. Um, just has to be recognized by Yahoo Finance as um, being part of a particular stock. So stock name, ticker symbol, and I think the um, the IS num number also counts. So to, in order to do that, just go on the name, click, um, go on the, in the data tab and click on the stock icon. And then the normal text cell will be converted into a data input cell. We do that for all three stocks. And as we can see, all have been converted. And in order to input information, we only need to click on the um, upper right corner into this little insert data tab. And then we get a list of all the information that we like to import. It is important to know that um, Excel will always input the information that you want to insert by the use of this tab to the first cell to the right of the data cell that is empty. So um, if you want to fill out um, this little template, for example, you should first look for the ticker symbol, then the current price. Um, this is not included. These are calculation cells and then daily change and beta. But I'll show you now um, why that is the case. So you go <clears throat> to the data tab. Then in this case, we would like to have the ticker symbol and you just drag it down. And it has to be noted, you can also just um, type it in the cell, whatever you want, um, by the virtue of the, the dot notation. So you use the cell name, the cell reference name with um, the data input, and then dot and, for example, dot ticker symbol, there's dot price, dot change and percentage, whatever you need. But in this case, we will just use um, the little data tab to the right. So as you can, uh, as, as you saw, it has inserted, Excel has inserted the information to the first cell to the right that has been empty. So in this case, um, the ticker cells, quite um, quite good for us. Um, but now as we want to get the current price, we just also go here, go on price, and then, yeah, the next cell that is empty to the right to the data cell will be filled in. Dragging that down as well, for the, this is just to illustrate how um, the information in charts can be updated. Pretty cool um, uh, to to like show show a little um, yeah portfolio template. So let's say 100, 250, whatever. Haven't been quite lucky here. Uh, number of shares doesn't matter. Just for illustration purposes. Um, yeah, and now as you can see, it will jump right to the to the daily to the free daily change cell. If we go to the ticker symbol, uh, to the data symbol, and go to uh, change in percent, there we go. Drag it down. And if you're wondering why um, the colors change, I um, did the little conditional formatting. So if profit profit absolute and the daily change is above zero, then it's a green cell. And if it's below zero, then it's a red cell. Also quite nice for 
a portfolio tracker, con you can easily see um, which of your investments have lost and which have made money. But we are already done with the data input part. So as you can see, it's very, very easy to, to use the new tool to your advantage and to create a stock market portfolio, a stock market tracker in a couple of minutes without a lot of effort. Like in the past few years, you, you in, on Mac, you at least had to use um, a special way of gathering data. And that was by the virtue of uh, the data tab in the um, uppermost row and then get external data. You don't have to use that anymore. It is much, much more easy to do it that way as um, as you could just see right now. So if it helped you, please consider liking and subscribing. It will help me stay motivated and doing these videos. And in any case, have a great week. Bye-bye.